Mr. Rogar? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think about him? Good. Good? Uh-huh. I mean, Just, great. You mean great? How come? Um, because he's so tall. <laughs> Anything else? Because he gives us candy. He does. That's awesome. He's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yay, Mr. Rogar! To teach our class for a little mm -hmm. at family school. Mm -hmm. He encourages us when we're playing sports. He's encouraged me by doing fun things with me. You. Uh, whenever, if I have a problem, Mr. Rogar doesn't mock you, but he sometimes tells uh, a similar story that ha has happened to you, him, and uh, and he just gives you scripture and encourages you not to follow the Lord instead of following your own your own heart, I guess. I'm encouraged by Mr. Rogar because he helps me to not be lazy, especially because every day I come in class, he just talks about um, how it's important because class is a small thing, but when you get older in life, it's going to be a big thing to not be lazy and to be on time and to be accountable. And responsible and so that's how Mr. Rogar has encouraged me. I don't know. Um, when me and Ellie and Emma were walking, we decided to go say hi to Mr. and Mrs. Rogar. And when we walked in, Mr. Rogar offered us steak and we so we had some steak. He encourages um me and encourages um well no. I remember when he came to my game and he started talking to me about um, about how I have to work hard on uh, shooting and all that stuff in my basketball game. Um, yes, the one thing that I um, remember um, the most about him was when we, when Elijah got in his car accident, he came over to our family and helped us out because my parents were gone at the hospital to go see him and he we were all sad and it was you know hard for everybody to to do stuff and there was bread and I was helping him make dinner and I pulled out a lettuce knife instead of the bread knife and I started shredding up the bread with the lettuce knife <laughs> and so he always teased me about that and he just made everybody happier and he's just really um, a great example of a godly man and just encourage me. <laughs> Happy birthday Mr. Rogar! The two things that come to mind are a lot of consistency and a lot of painful honesty. A lot. Well I've, I, we're alike in some ways and so um, when I'm having a struggle he can um, see it and sympathize with it. Um, really good, and we get along really well. He's always really encouraging to me and um, makes a big difference for me um, in encouraging me to honor God. There's a lot of memories that I've had with Mr. Rogar just because uh, of all the times that he would take care of us, but my favorite ones were always uh, the ones where we would be watching either a football game or a basketball game and we'd be uh, just able to eat lots of meat together. We would always enjoy that and uh, just the uh, fun times that we would we would have there. Mm -hmm. Just um, just to thank him for just all that he's um, just really his love towards me um, kind of like I was one of his own kids or grandkids. Um, just all the weather that was, you know, giving, taking care of us, giving us food, um, and then also uh, just in all the, all the times in either family school or youth or when he was just hanging out with us, all the, all the questions really that he would ask me, the, the deep questions that I always hated, um, but now I look back on and I'm thankful for, and uh, I just really love him for his 
um, care and love for me. So, thank you. So, uh, he has uh, encouraged me by you know, making me see the other way of things, like both sides from where he's coming from, and it really helps me both spiritually and like in the real world. And he does this quite a bit by being a very difficult man to argue with. Like, he always gets his point across, and he always makes you see his side. So, it's kind of a way he's really, uh, really blessed me and has really helped me out. I love Mr. Rogar because he is a very kind and genu gen generous person. And during my phase of a lot of ums, likes, and us, he made fun of me, and it helped me to stop saying all of the ums and likes. Mr. Earth has encouraged me by um, making me do things that are impossible for me or I think they're impossible for me or hard. And so, yeah, and I'm very thankful that he trusted me by letting me drive his truck. <laughs> <laughs> He's always been the best, I think, at never shying away from a opportunity to teach us something, uh, no matter how hard it is. And uh, one of my favorite things uh, about him is that uh, whenever the new Apple keynote comes out, he's always the first person I want to talk to you about. Like, Mr. Rogarth, did you hear about the new iPhone? He is funny and he teases <laughs> us in a good way. Well, what I like about Mr. Rogarth is that he challenges us to do hard things that we don't like. And yeah. Jay, Mr. Rogart, um, thank you for your all your conversations and um, like asking about me and all that and asking what sports I play and if you wanna come to my games whenever I do. Um, just so you know, softball's coming up, so yay. Um, and I'm really excited that you're gonna be my teacher someday, maybe next year or the year before that. Well, yeah. Um, thank you, and I'm really excited for your birthday. When he gives me candy and snacks. Hey, Mr. Rogar. I just wanted to say thanks for all the talks over the years about football and all the encouragement that you give me on um, health and staying fit and um, all the concern that you share and how you're always telling me that I really remind you of yourself when you were younger. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for all the concern and all the time that you put in to helping me watch what I eat and helping me uh, watch the creamer in my coffee. Thanks Mr. Rogar. Happy birthday. He has encouraged me by his uh, diabetes life tips. One of the ways you've encouraged me is in your willingness to say what you're thinking, not in a mean way, but in a way that gets me to really consider what you're saying and um, often think about it in a way I hadn't thought about it before. And uh, it's always, always been something that the Lord has used to stretch me and encourage me and grow me. And uh, I am thankful for that. The thing that I love most about Mr. Rogar is his generosity and love for all of the youth in the church. And I am just really, really thankful. And um, when I came up to college, they came up for a weekend or for a Sunday and they came to church with me and took me out to Red Lobster and it was so fun and they just gave me everything that I needed and when I was telling my friends that um, like about the day that I had with them they couldn't believe that I wasn't related to them they just couldn't believe that somebody that I wasn't related to was so generous to me and I am that is just the biggest thing about Mr. Rogar that I love so much one of, my, one of my favorite things about Mr. Rogar is his honesty in uh, helping me grow, like in his class, and uh, helping me learn to teach his class. He always helped me, uh, and he will continue to be honest with me and tell me what I'm doing and uh, encourage me and uh, help me grow. Happy birthday. Um, thank you so much for 
everything that you've done for our church and uh, hope that the next part of your life stays the same, is, but you grow in Christ too. Um, he takes us to things and he tries to help us understand things in classes. He, help, he helps me and helps me to understand um, God's word. My favorite trait of Mr. Rogar is his ability to see when someone is struggling and then to give them very good godly advice and wisdom to help them out. I don't have any favorite memories of Mr. Rogar because I love all of the memories that I have of him. Hey Josh. Yeah? You know Mr. Rogar? Who? Just kidding, Mr. Rogar. Mr. Rogar! On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a